All right, welcome back to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button, please. And let's get right into this story. These are videos that I usually do on my other channel, which is called Hot Topics TV. Go ahead and hit the link that is given to you in the comment section pinned. And then go over to my other channel where you can get more of these types of videos. I'm only doing this one here just to get some people over to the other channel. Anyways, on to the story. Wendy Williams is back in rehab. Latest news. Before I start any of this information giving about Wendy Williams, let me just say that a lot of people feel a lot of different ways about Wendy Williams because she was kind of harsh and callous towards a lot of people and their personal information, their downfalls, etc., exposing people all that stuff and that is how she rose to fame right however please don't take wendy williams lightly please don't think that she is somebody that needs your charity per se wendy is not a pushover she is not weak she is very strong she is a headstrong woman and she did not get to where she is at now by being a weak little pushover so keep that in mind and while you're that keeping that in mind also keep in mind her net worth, maybe you want to compare it to your net worth just to show you that you are not in her bracket. And I know a lot of people are going to say money ain't everything. So flow. Yeah. But a lot of the times it says a lot. Okay. Her net worth is estimated to be at about $60 million as of August of 2022. Now there were other numbers out there putting it between 20 and 40, but it finaled out at $60 million in August of 2022. We are now in September. Today is the 15th. So give you a good idea. Anyhow, according to MSN, Wendy Williams is back in rehab to take some time to focus on her health and her wellness. Her publicist has confirmed this Wednesday. Today is Thursday. That was yesterday. Check this out. Before we go any further, also, there's been rumors out there that Wendy Williams was on drugs. Okay. She herself said that she had a cocaine problem back in the day she was snorting a lot of cocaine a lot of people were saying that she always jamaica jamaica sweet sweet jamaica now nah left ya yeah man listen my soflo tv audience take a break real quick i got this channel i have to tell you about this channel is called maurice kingpin channel on youtube click the link in the description and go over to the channel his channel focuses on highlighting beautiful places around jamaica as he travels across the island right beautiful jamaica to be seen in a way you've probably never seen it before none of us are really taking helicopter rides around the island to see it from a different angle we land at the airport and we go about our business right and we view it from the ground he's viewing it from the ground too but also, even if you've taken many trips to Jamaica, I guarantee you that there are places that he's been that you have not been. So check out his videos. Enjoy the ride through beautiful, scenic Jamaica from an angle that you've never done it before. Travel vicariously and enjoy these relaxing videos that he has up on his channel. Showing Jamaica in a good light is not a killy killy channel, is nothing to show in negativity. It is all something to relax you and to even jog some of you memories who haven't been back in a while. You can actually look through his videos and say, wow, this place has developed. Wow, when I was a child, this place used to look this way. Now it looks that way. That kind of thing, you know, vicariously travel through his channel. I am inviting you to do so because I'm over there doing it. And I want to share that with you. She was snorting cocaine and she relapsed, but they're trying to keep it a secret. Others are saying that it's not cocaine, it's alcohol. And then there's that information that everybody who does cocaine knows that you drink a lot of alcohol to bring the cocaine down and level it out because alcohol is a downer. Cocaine is an upper. If you are on too much cocaine, you're going to be high out your damn mind acting silly. So you level yourself out with some alcohol and then in front of people, you can appear normal. I don't know, but listen to this information right here because it sounds like it's starting to be a bit true. Wendy Williams is in need of help and she is checking in to rehab to get herself some help. 
A source told Page Six that the 58-year-old substance issue has gotten way worse and that she went from drinking just a glass or two of wine, you know, sometimes finishing a whole bottle of wine by herself to just drinking straight up vodka. Now that source did not say anything about cocaine, but the source said that it's straight up vodka. If you've ever had vodka, for those of you who've had a couple of stiff drinks, you know that vodka is pretty harsh on the esophagus, on the stomach lining, on the throat. I can't imagine what it might be doing to somebody who suffers from Graves' disease or any other autoimmune diseases like Wendy does. So they're saying now that that is the big part of why her Graves' disease and her thyroid issues have been acting up on her so much because she can't put down the alcohol. Matter of fact, it got way worse. It was not clear when the TV personality was see where she was seeking help. Of course, they're not going to tell you where Wendy Williams is located as she has passed, been in treatment in locations in both New York City and in Florida. She owns property, high end, multi-million dollar properties in both of those places, amongst other places. Wendy Williams publicist, Sean Zanotti, told the U.S. Sun that she checked into a wellness facility in an effort to manage her overall health. So he didn't say Wendy checked in because she's trying to beat alcoholism and it's kicking her ass. So she checked in or she's trying to beat the use of cocaine or barbiturates or whatever. He just said she checked in for overall wellness. Wendy Williams is being treated by a team of the most of the best doctors in the world is what he said, adding that she is preparing for a major comeback for the next level of her career with the Wendy Experience podcast. Now, let me tell you, don't underestimate Wendy Williams. Podcast is now the way to go. She can probably bank more money on a podcast and own all her stuff and have less things to worry about other than her money being funneled into her account than running that TV show where you have to depend on a network and other people dibbling and dabbling in your business, right? And then also the things that she might not have been able to say on a television show, she will probably definitely be able to let loose on a podcast. Just think about that. Wendy is no fool. I'm telling you, she's built for this. Don't count her out. I won't. Wendy Williams has had difficulties in controlling her drinking to the detriment of her overall health, which one source described as failing. This is what a source told the U.S. Sun, adding that she can't stop drinking and she needs to stop the drinking. It's just making her health worse. Sources close to page six told them that the production company for her one-time series, Debmar Mercury, refused to assist in any effort to get some help with her while she was going through her issues. The source revealed that they turned their backs on Wendy and they had too much control over someone who was just so vulnerable. Now, what kind of help was it that they were expected to give? Let's get into that information right there. Wendy Williams' ex-husband, Kevin Hunter, who, by the way, Wendy is seven or eight years older than he is. Kevin just turned 50 and Wendy is pushing almost 60. Not That's neither here nor there information, I'm just saying. I don't know if you've noticed that she has been seen out in her state she is in now with a couple of different men. Some have been assistants and there are rumors that others have been flings and dating. She even came out and said she was married and she told people that she was married to a New York City cop, which has turned out to be unverifiable, right? I don't know if it's true. It's turned out to be unverifiable, I would say but most people are saying it's false. She was just completely happy and so excited about that new relationship that she went around with a big old ring on her finger telling people she got married. 
when she wasn't. Some people are asking, does the side effects of the medications that Wendy is taking make people delusional? And the answer to that is the condition itself that she has does. So I don't know if she was in a delusional state when she said that or if she was just really, really happy and excited about that relationship. So her ex-husband, Kevin Hunter, told the outlet this past July that Debmar, the company that was in charge of her uh, Wendy Williams show, they would not support Wendy's recovery efforts with the family as they would not sign off on anything that would have helped her recovery efforts purposely. Wow. Hunter also told the outlet about a meeting between reps with the company and Wendy Williams relatives in which they spoke about her struggle with drinking. So it's not a secret amongst them. It's not a secret among her family and it's not a secret amongst the executives and the people that she works with. He said, quote unquote, they sat in a meeting with her whole family, including her now deceased mom, and they would not sign off on a recovery effort that would have helped Wendy also get well and live a better and sober life. This is what Hunter said. They basically said, if you don't stop drinking, you're going to lose the show. Well, she didn't stop drinking. Her health deteriorated and she lost the show. An insider told the outlet in August that things are really off for Wendy, who was saying last month that she was married to a NYPD officer. It's not the same Wendy that you're seeing. She's regressed. She has regressed like crazy. And her family in Florida, they're very worried for her. This is what a source told page six, according to page six in August. Hmm. Wow. Listen, Wendy Williams has also been in the center of other controversies as she's been legally battling the financial institution or bank that's called Wells Fargo after they locked her bank account, saying that she is not capable of taking care of herself and they don't want her to fall victim to somebody else running through her money. So they have decided that they're going to manage and control and safeguard her money for her. Well, I, I, I did not know that a bank was capable of actually doing something like that. Not when the person who owns the bank account is able to come stand in the bank and say, hey, this is my money. I have my money in your account. Here's my ID. Look at me. I'm not crazy. Give me my damn money. And the bank has a right to say, nope, we don't believe you. Come back with some experts. That's crazy. Wendy Williams' former lawyer, who is LaShawn Thomas, told Page Six, everybody is speaking to Page Six from Wendy, her ex-husband, her former assistant, former lawyer. Well, the former lawyer told Page Six last month that the TV personality was abandoned by her ex-financial advisor, Lori Scheller, who did not respond to the allegations. Williams, which is Wendy, has passed, dealt with substance abuse issues. This is a documented part of her past, as she was able to achieve an extended period of sobriety until around late 2018 to early 2019, when she took a two month hiatus from filming to enter a halfway house. And that's when a lot of people realized like, oh shit, she is on the sauce. She said on her show in March of 2019, only Kevin knows about this, not my parents, nobody. Nobody knew because I look so glamorous out here. After I finish my appointments, I am driven by my 24 hour sober coach back to a home that I live in, in a tri-state area with a bunch of smelly boys who have become my family is what she said. So uh, she was going through it 2019, 2020, when, you know, her health took a drastic, uh, 2018, 2019, and then her health took a drastic turn for the worst. So here they are saying that Wendy Williams cannot let go of the drinking and she's graduated now from 
wine and she is just drinking straight raw vodka and she is killing a whole lot of it which is messing with her other autoimmune disease and thyroid issues making everything worse for her at the end of the day we got to remember that she is a human being as well right everybody wants to be all human being and loving until it comes to somebody that they don't like for whatever reason but she didn't kill anybody so we got to extend the same olive branch to her and the same well wishes i'm the kind of person i like to root for the underdog so i'm always rooting for people like wendy williams i want to see her back on top i want to see her win i want to see her give us a good story I don't think her story is anywhere near finished. I think we are going to be in for a big surprise. And as soon as that podcast drops, I'm definitely going to be tuning in because I know there's some wild shit about to go down. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. We're sending all our best wishes to Wendy. Whatever it is that you're hooked on that's got you in a vice, that's making your health issues flare up. I hope that you can get all that under control and get back to what you do best. I'm just saying. All right. I'll catch you all on the next video. It's SoFlo TV over here with a video from Hot Topics TV. Go ahead and click that link and go over to my other channel where I normally do these types of videos on Hot Topics TV. And I'll catch you over there. I'm out. Peace. Me not give him no money. Me not pay for listen to him. After me listen to him free all them years, yeah. Scam not scam people, you know. Yo, I'm to the boy, yeah. Yo, boy, I'm gonna look work. You will never be rich off of me. You know? If we hit 2,000 paid members on this channel, I will give away 1,000 US dollars every 30 days. There's a link right down here. Look down there, click the link. It will be in the comment section as the first comment. I will pin it there. And it will also be in the description of the video under this video.